Before the break, we were discussing steel prices in the United States, which tumbled about 7% in May to a five-year low. Daniel D'Amico is chairman, president, and CEO of Nucor Corporation, the second largest U.S. steel producer. He believes that steel demand may be at or close to the bottom. He joins us now on set with an outlook. Mr. D'Amico, welcome to Bloomberg News. Good afternoon. Sir, why do, you, why do you believe it's at or near bottom? Well, it's uh, a situation where we've seen significantly reduced order entry since this thing started back in September, October, November. Um, and it really has to do with the difference between apparent demand and real demand. Real demand is what's really going on. Apparent demand is dictated by what your customers are doing with inventories. If they are not ordering because they've got more inventory than they need, they sell out of inventory and only fill in holes occasionally. And so our operating rates and order entry rates as an industry went down in the first quarter it was around 40 percent. But that ties into what I was going to ask you because you said last week your quote was that order entry has improved. It has. What, so, what signs? What's what happening signs now is the, the apparent demand is moving up to meet real demand. Okay. Which okay. hasn't changed. We haven't seen any significant even re, really serious green shoots in improvement in demand for steel. But what we have seen is our customer base, OEMs, service centers, distributors, start to order at a level that's consistent with real demand as opposed to below real demand. What about so the manufacturers? So our order entry rates have gone up, the utilization rates for the industry have gone up, but they're still at depression era levels. They're still, we're going from 40 percent, we might see the industry up in the second quarter up as high as 50 percent, maybe 55 percent, third right. quarter we might see 55 to 60 percent, but those are historic low levels. Are you seeing any orders from manufacturers? You mentioned the distributors. There's, the distributors are part of the manufacturing chain. They sell to manufacturers. We sell directly to large volume manufacturers. So we're all part. We're all seeing through that the manufacturing response, but it's still very, very depressed. The increase in orders that we're seeing are good, obviously. But they're not indicative of an increase in real demand at this point in time. You said back in April that Nucor was operating at about 43 percent of capacity. That's Has correct. this changed since the orders have improved? We are, we're up to, in a neighborhood at this time, of somewhere between 50 and 53 percent. Where would you like to be? I think the industry time? is going to be in that neighborhood. Are, are you happy where, where you're at? Where I would right like now? to be? Yeah. Our worst over the last 50 years. Our lowest operating rates were in the area of 80 to 85 percent through every recession we've seen over the last 50 years. So, no, we are not happy, and we won't be happy, as, and, our, and our fellow competitors won't be happy right. until we're north of those 80 percent levels again. Uh, Nucor reporting its first quarterly net loss in April. You've guided uh, the market to expect another one for the current quarter. Let's talk about going forward, third and fourth quarters. What are your expectations? We don't give guidance. Okay. for forward quarters until we have our conference call in the middle of July. At that time, we will give people our thoughts for the third quarter. We don't go past that. Okay. Currently, what we're saying is that uh, in our guidance that we updated, that we would see another loss, but not as bad as we thought originally at the end of the first quarter. It's a little bit better. Part of the reason for that is we have seen an uptick in operating rates due to apparent demand coming up to real demand. Right. And because we've, our people have done a great job of getting costs down. Mr. D'Amico, Nucor is the only major steelmaker in North, Ameri uh, North America to avoid layoffs. How did you do it? It's, a, it's our policy not to, and you have to be committed to it. And we are a firm believer throughout the ver number of recessions in the past that keeping your people employed builds trust, builds loyalty, builds ownership in your company, and the payback on that is far greater throughout this business cycle right. than if you were to say to people, I don't need you anymore. Sir, about 20 seconds left. I'm sorry to put you on, on the spot like this. President Obama's stimulus package, have you seen any benefits no. from it? And I'm afraid that even the benefits we do see will be minuscule compared to what we need to see to get this economy back and going again. He's done the right things to help people who needed it. Now it's time to do the right things to get people back to work. Dan D'Amico of Nucor joining us on set. Sir, it's a pleasure. Thank you very Thank much. You.